out this bad lad. Yep, that is seven inches of pure audio llama, ladies, and then seven pure inches of the llama. <laughs> So this then is a custom 7 inch picture disc vinyl pressed by a little old company called Vinyl Art Co. Yes, they're a small little, I don't know if you want to call them a startup or company, who will press whatever image you want onto a 7 inch single and then they'll put whatever music on you want. Or it could be you talking or whatever. Obviously this is assuming that the music and the art isn't copyrighted, so you couldn't take um, Adele's latest single and put the picture, a picture of a, th a thing, Iron Maiden. You couldn't put an Iron Maiden album cover on. You couldn't do that because of copyright laws. Well, as you can see, what I've done is put the Audio Llama logo on, which makes sense because that's something I've got, and the music is the music that I use on my intro video, The Little Piece by Ryan Little. It's called Lazarus. That's my phone bleeping, classic. Classic tip, turn your phone to mute when you're recording videos. So one side you can see has the image uh, and it's really vibrant and beautifully colored. Uh, it really does pop out. Uh, and it's obviously got the grooves on there for the music. On the other side though, it is just plain white vinyl. It's all done uh, one-sided affair, which is cool. I don't mind that. Incidentally, it's worth pointing out right now that uh, Vinyl Art Co. did send me this for free. I haven't paid for it. I'm definitely a corporate sellout shill. But do rest assured, I'm not actually being paid for this. It's a review, clear and cut. It's my thoughts on it. And I'm, yeah, I'm not being bribed other than they did make me this really nice disc, which is kind of cool. So a little bit more background on what you're kind of going to get for your money. So this which is just a normal uh, single that they've pressed for me in a sleeve. It'll cost you £34, and they do a full-framed version for £59. Uh, it's a really interesting frame, actually, because it uses the magnetic system, so I think your record is kind of floating in it, so the front doesn't get scratched. It is actually a really, really cool design from what I've seen. If you want to check that out in more detail, check out Techmode. He's another YouTuber who does loads of uh, really cool kind of tech stuff. A lot of retro tech. Uh, click the link to find out about him. If you ask me, it is quite a lot of money, like £35, £34, I should say, for a for one single, but then it is obviously pressed with a custom design, and doing that is quite a complex procedure uh, for them to cut it and put your music on. But also, it is a really simple procedure to do. You go on their website, you click create, you put on the image that you want. Ideally for me, mine was circular, but you know, it could be... I don't know, like a wedding photo or something with, oh God, vows on if, you, if you're a bit gross. Not my bag, but whatever. Or it could, you know, it make more sense. It could be your own band's music with your own album cover on. Even if you're not going to get it like pressed in bulk, it could be a sweet memento. And I guess that's definitely more of what this is for. Once you've been through the process on the website of putting in all the information, it'll then take them about seven days to press it and then they'll pop it in the post for you, uh, like-minded, and it'll arrive all beautiful for you to enjoy. So let's talk about what I actually think about it. Well, visually, I love it. I, I, I've got to say, um, it's it's a showpiece, especially if you have one framed on your wall. It looks really cool as just like a, a special thing, like great for a birthday. I would have been more than happy, probably chuffed, as we say in the North, chuffed, getting something like this for a birthday or whatever, commemorative audio llama event. As I previously said, the colours on this 7 inch are really vibrant and lush. Considering that my design is quite a simple one, it's only three or four colours, if you have a little check on their Instagram at instagram.com slash vinylartco, you can see some really um, creative and thoroughly colourful designs. And as a special treat, you can see a little old video of my very own 7 inch single being cut. While you're there as well, do check me out on Instagram 
to catch up what I'm listening to and what I've been seeing. And if you want me to like plug what you're watching and what you're playing, hashtag rock me llama days, I'll come up with a bot. Now, lastly, I guess we come to the bit that we're all wondering about. It's a record, so how does it sound? Um, put bluntly, it's a picture disc. It sounds decent. It doesn't sound particularly worse than any other picture disc I've ever heard. It doesn't sound like 180 gram pure virgin black vinyl. Although I'm sure it is virgin vinyl, but it's a picture disc. But no one, I assume, is buying this as like an audiophile affair. They're buying it as it's a sweet gift or a sweet memento or something of that kind of ilk. Tell me in the comments down below what you think. I've been kind of grinning ear to ear since I got it, so I'm pretty pretty chuffed with my my new little llama lad. But if you want one, if you want to get your own, design your own music, pressed on a vinyl, uh, working with Vinyl Art Co, we've worked out a deal where if you put the coupon that comes up down below, should say Audio Llama 10, you can get 10% off either one of those or even the framed one as well and save a bit of money. And if you think you've got any friends who might want that as well, click the big old share button on the video and post it on Facebook, on Twitter, and wherever you like. That'd be an awesome help to me as well. I do just want to make it clear though that I'm not on commission if I, if they sell any of these. Uh, it's just a, being a completely unbiased review and I'm not like making money out of it or anything like that. If you want to see more sweet videos about how to look after your record players and how to get the best out of your hi-fi system, then click one of the links up here. One of them will all be about setting up your turntable. It's for newbies and more advanced users alike. And do not forget to press on the big llama face to subscribe to Audio Llama.